You know, thousands of people have climbed Mount Everest, but not many climbers do it while they're broadcasting live over the internet. But Elias Sakely is planning to do just that when he climbs Mount Everest next month using social media like Skype to broadcast as he climbs. And he's in our studio on his way to Nepal to talk about it. Hi. Thanks for having me. Hey, so this is, uh, I mean, it's one thing to talk to somebody who's going to climb Everest, but you're going to be communicating around the world at the same time. What are you going to do? I mean, essentially, we're leaving on Saturday. We've got 100-plus schools signed up that are following this expedition to the top of the world via a new web channel for kids called While I Grow Up, Wig Up. Very cool. So 100 classes. Yeah. It's a big vision with a lot of students. And what are they going to, what, what are the lines of communication between you and them going to be? I mean, essentially, we have blogs, we have photos, we have webisodes that we'll be producing from Mount Everest. We're also Skyping with classes, sat phone calls, and we've got this cool epic tracker, which essentially is like this geo mapping system where kids can see exactly where we are, where we've posted, where we're going. It's, uh, it's really neat technology. I, that is interesting. <clears throat> so that's interesting. I like the idea of Skype too, but how do you Skype from? you know, halfway up Everest? Yeah, you know, it's a good question. And uh, the nice part about this expedition is that I've tested all this stuff before. So the pilot project was on Aconcagua, the highest mountain in South America. And essentially we have this terminal, it's called a BGAN. Yeah. And so imagine, you know, you've got your MacBook Pro, you've got your HD camera, you've got this BGAN, you know, you're freezing on the side of a mountain, you sort of point this thing at the satellite, then all of a sudden you've got an internet connection at 22,000 feet above sea level. Hook it up, FTP it back to Canada, and the kids are seeing exactly what we're going through. Live. Live. That's and, amazing. Yeah, and, and the nice part, too, is that, um, I mean, when kids are living this with you and you can see them, you know, like I tested this, there are you know, 600 kids with, you know, with their hands up waiting to ask a question. Like, this is taking learning to a whole new level in the classroom. You've got other equipment here besides that. Uh, tell me what some of these are. Yeah, um, what I wanted to try this year was helmet cameras, right? So we've got three or four of these. We'll be putting these on our Sherpas. Um, I'll be wearing one on my chest at all times. My climbing partner will also have one. So these will give us really neat 180 degree perspectives. Um, we've also got larger and smaller HD cameras. These guys here. Yeah, so these guys here, so higher quality HD camera. A little bit lighter when this thing is, is too heavy to carry. They say sometimes on Everest that a toothbrush is too heavy so you don't bring it. So managing all this gear in those cold temperatures and, and trying to carry it is extremely difficult. Right? How, how much does all the gear weigh? Uh, you know, I've, I've got three Pelican cases full of gear and I can barely get it downstairs uh, from my top floor <laughs> apartment. Um, but I've, I've probably got about 120 pounds of gear that, um, that I'll be bringing up. But of course, we've got a team of Sherpas uh, and uh, I'm actually climbing with a doctor as well, my friend Al Baldo. So, um, yeah, that team was very strategically uh, chosen. Give me an idea. If you manage to reach the summit, I know you've been on Everest before, but haven't quite got there. Yeah. If you're, when you get to the summit, what are you going to show the kids? I think a lot of emotion. Um, you know, I, I got into this almost by accident five years ago, and uh, I'd never even slept in a tent, and I went off as a cameraman to Mount Everest. And, um, I mean, tragically, my, my mentor died on that trip, and it... It completely changed my life and I learned so much from going back to this country from the people and from the mountain so this expedition is about sharing that experience with kids so that they can take from that they can learn from that they can discover what they're able to achieve and it's all about them making connections so I think when we get up there it's gonna be a lot of emotion a lot of excitement so if you get to the summit uh, I don't know exactly what the view is from there but of the surrounding count countryside the other mountains or of, you know, the route up, what would you show them first? Um, I think the outstanding horizon line, right? Like you are on top of the world, right? I've seen a 747 jetliner fly underneath me. <laughs> and, that would be and, unnerving. And my maybe. feet are planted on the ground, right? So if you can transport young people there and place them there and have them experience that with you, and learn that, you know what, they may not climb Mount Everest, right? But they've got other mountains that they want to climb. Exactly. Now, uh, let me be just slightly skeptical about that, though, in the sense that mountain climbing, especially climbing Everest, is a kind of fantastic thing, right? Yeah. Even though thousands have done it. Uh, are you risking sort of making it too commonplace by bringing all these kids with you every step of the way? 
Well, I don't think that we're making it about the destination here. You know, what we're doing is we're taking these kids on a journey. Right. Um, they will learn as much from the children of the orphanages that we'll okay. visit um, as much as... Not all about Everest. No, it's, I mean, it's not about reaching the top here. It's about everything that we learn along the way. And, and I think that's the message of Finding Life, uh, the organization that I run. It's all about teaching people that, you know, the process, the moment that you live is the most important part. I agree. Unfortunately, we've come to the moment where I have to say goodbye. But thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks for having me. And good luck. Thank you. Elias Sakely is going to be climbing Mount Everest and in taking a lot of kids with him starting in April. Okay.